Hello and welcome! I am Joe Shepard, your Forza fanboy, and today I bring you the 2013 Huyen Holden Commodore Hoot. And yes, after the quick video, and thank you for those who have watched, it's got, uh, I can see it, it's got 15 views, so thank you for that, very much appreciated. So, after I uploaded a video, I did a quick build on it, and I did test it in, um, it's pushing, i actually go back into it. So it's pushing stock, 576 horsepower, and 604 foot pounds of torque. It weighs in at 2,796 pounds of weight. I'll show you what I did with the upgrades in just uh, a second. So the track I tested on was on Dubai, oh no, sorry, but it means Alps. It would be the Santa Plaza circuit. So today it's Dubai, the mountain circuit. Uh, this will be the second uh, test before I finalize the uh, tune and build. So, without further ado, let's get into the upgrades. So, pretty much, engines are stock. It's not doing anything. If I wanted to, I could put that in, but no. So, it's got a positive power supercharger, which is a lot different. So, yeah, nothing's been touched. I'll just let you know, show you. So, we have stock uh, pistons, stock engine block. Stock valves, we got stock camshaft, we have stock exhaust, stock ignition, stock fuel system, and last but not least, stock air filter. So the only thing I have okay was race brakes, race front and rear differential, or anti roll, I mean, sorry, uh, race roll cage to make it more steep, uh, kind of middle, race rate reduction. Uh, as for the drivetrain, I did race clutch, that way it's faster response time. Uh, it does have stock 6 gears, I just put it to race so you can tune if you needed to. Uh, of course, dry, race drive line, and of course, not last but least, race differential to make sure you lock it. The cars I am running are sport compounds, I am running stock 275s on the front. By 295s on the wheel, and yes, they are 18 inch all around. I have not touched the side, I didn't touch rims because, let's face it, deep dish in the back it looks hella nice. And the only thing I have touched is, of course, the back, as you can see. Uh, definitely gives a nice little flair to it. Uh, also, stock um, aspiration conversion, and it's rear wheel drive. So I'll give you the tune in a bit, but uh, it's basically ready to, uh, it's pretty much ready to rock. We're gonna send it and uh, see how she handles, because on Bobby's Alps she did pretty good. She gets 36,000 points uh, in total for the best lap, which is actually decent enough. And had a little bit more, I would have been able to, but let's see how she does. So we'll spin tires like a mad That was my bad. We uh will not show that. Oh. Um oh. she's over rotating on me. Hold on, I just wanna go back to that. Give it a like. Thank you. I apparently uh, uh no, it's not putting the one I want. Oh, there's no C that's why. Oops. So it's break, not uh what I thought it was. Thank you. So yes, as you uh, as you can tell, I do read the comments as well. So definitely uh, took that under budget and did exactly what uh, he said in the comments. That was from the other uh, video. So we probably about 16 views. Also, I am using fuel and tires on the different uh, side in a bit. So this is the first set on Dubai on the mountain uh, circuit.
Well, you see, it's holding some pretty good angle. Oh, oh. I... You're supposed to commit to the, to the alarm section. So if you do bobble, it's not good. So I'll just show you quickly what the tune is set at. So it's 27 in the front, 28 in the rear. The uh, gears are stock, which I might have to change that uh, if I want acceleration. Uh, this I pretty much could put back to 1.0. Uh, I think this was at 1.5 and this was about the same as well. So I put it down. Uh, this was put three uh, to the front and nine, minus three to the rear. It's got stock angle at 5.0. Real balls, all I did was put it to 25 and 30. Uh, same with the backs. Excuse me, sorry. Uh, I put 8.45 to the back, uh, front, which makes it a bit stiff. Uh, 7.45 to the rear. That might change depending on the track, but uh, I try to keep it all the same. Uh, front ride height is 4.5 and 6.7. Gap ring is pretty much uh, like the uh, 6.7. Actually, I think it was 6.5. Um, 6.7 is a little too high. That was, I got, um, on one of the drift fields I did, it was like the 6.5 and 6.2 in the rear, which I actually like the ratio on that. And it seemed to work pretty good. And then, brakes is, uh, depends on what you like. I like it to a little bit more. Uh, this is what I do for mine. I used to do 100 for both, but now I do 95 and 85. Uh, it sort of bounces out a bit between the two, so it's not over the top. So now that I kind of tweaked it a bit, let's see. Oops, it's a tap. Also, I still want to apologize that all I knew it was a long video. The, just so that the DLC itself is about an hour and 40 minutes long. Not really liking this too much. So what I might have to do is play on the gearing, uh, uh, actually. Because as you see, it's meant for more speed, and when you're drifting, you don't really need the speed too much. What you want is the uh, acceleration. Not now. Sorry, I'm answering. Uh, uh, you drifting now. Recording, uh, oops. Recording a drift build for my fellow hashtag team drift fans out there. I, uh, I do appreciate it for those who have subscribed and or join the content. Uh, just hope we can get five likes on this video and the other one when the other video was uh, quickly put up. It was never edited at all. It was a little bit of it and showing what my uh, actual, um, as I'm trying to think of the words. So we're going to do 368. So we'll do 365. So we'll do three six five. The, no, what is it? Yeah, three six five. So get away from the uh, speed because you don't need it. We need acceleration. That way, can, I ran the team drift company dry, which is never a good thing to do. But it has happened, and uh, there will be no more videos of that as far as I can tell. Maybe in the near future, if I can get my uh, team drift back out of the red, because right now, as she sits, she's in a good position to uh, try to get any vehicles. And the next one's up are pretty expensive. But I know I did take a long time with that video, with that game, with the whole. Uh, oh, we have to change tires. Look at that, spinning the tires. I'm going to put you 50. 
Good gracious, man. This thing's got a lot of power in it. Save it. We saved it, yo. Just like that, and we managed to save it. Is uh, able to do a hooting and call pack and into a drip real quickly. So, the reason why I didn't put any more upgrades into the vehicle for power is 500 horsepower and 6 torque is a lot for a vehicle. Um, yes, it's got 100 more torque than it should, but it works out pretty good. Set in the update with uh, get too much angle and uh, what it, they actually are working on a new uh, point system for drifting and also an angle kit, uh, which would be a lot pretty beneficial. Oh, let's try it again. So, I gotta put a 315 on it, so I might do that. a little bit of throttle on that one so it's still stock with the tire pressure from the last time it was doing pretty good i thought but, uh oh no that's the thing you change one little thing on a vehicle and it can throw it out of throw it off again uh, now it used to be good Hooks up, she's pretty good. Uh, then we'll be working on that a little bit. Um, 
might have to play on the suspension a bit. So Jimmy, give a shout out to uh, Ray Region Gaming. Uh, he also has that's his YouTube channel. I'll give the link below. Uh, the eye icon. to the wall stop here for now so I can work on a tune I'll pick it up give it a bit of updates with another video on uh, the vehicle so far but it did do good for a bit until I kind of played around the tune which let's face it you kind of have to if you want to get it to be what you want I might put it down to a uh, 2.60 see if that helps a bit uh, the angle should be fine um, I might have to tighten up the Front. Actually, no. I think I did once. I uh, made it even. Uh, I believe it was the anti robot section. But I will see if that works or not. I'll put this back up to uh, 855 and then do the same to the back to the rear as well, which is 755. I'll put this to a 7 because it seemed to be doing pretty. Excuse me, pretty good. Well, I'll give it one last shot before I uh, decide to end the video and then uh, keep trying to open the tune. Again, this was its first ever great drive for me on uh, Dubai Mountain Pass, Mountain Circuit, I should say. So it's definitely uh, still a work in progress a bit.
definitely, uh, I can see it's struggling to uh, keep the angle now. So I think I have it too stiff in the, uh, for the reel. I'll keep the 25. I'll just put it up to, uh, to that much. See if that helps. I think I'll leave this at a uh, 45 in the reel. Uh, I'll see if that helps. Uh, definitely, I can see it struggling. I'm pretty sure you guys could as well. I think I'm just gonna start the video here. Uh, probably having to cut some of it out, but uh, definitely don't forget I will make an update video of this build and hopefully soon to have another build from a different vehicle and manufacturer that I thought I would never do. But uh, hopefully, you have enjoyed the video. Um, I know I am struggling with, the, with this one at the moment, but trust me, I am gonna try to work on it the best I can. Uh, but I might be recording another video of Assassin's Creed Origins. Try not to make it too long. Uh, I do apologize if that one will be long. I'll uh, pretty much throw it out into that video once I do uh, record that one as well. So the videos will be going up between 12 p.m. and 1 p.m. So definitely keep it uh, tuned to uh, your notifications. And if you haven't already and you are enjoying the uh, videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification right beside it. That way it pushes a notification to your uh, smart devices, whether it's iOS or Android. Uh, also, uh, share it to other, to other uh, friends or social media platforms. If you know someone that might be into watching Forza or other videos I have already on the channel. Uh, let's see if we can try to get this uh, one to five likes. If not, maybe six. I uh, definitely think it is possible. But... Uh, and also, I just watched a video on uh, Vagia Jr.'s YouTube page of him testing out the uh, new uh, F-150 Raptor. Uh, pretty much, my comment was, send it OTO, which is pretty cool to see uh, him drift that on a number ring. 
I also did look into a OTL Mustang, which Canadian-wise, it's 7500 but uh, that's still to uh, go down and actually look at one. That was the Stage 1 package, because I'm totally the guy I want to put uh, BC Racing Coil with aggressive ones. So with that, he said Stage 1 would be good enough. Excuse me. So, but uh, and then I guess eventually I can off it if I want to, but uh, we have not enough. I'll leave it into your hands. This is your Fools Just Shepherd, your Fools of Fanboy.